up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be sharing with y'all my Reading Rush TBR. Okay, first of all, I just want to say excuse my appearance and my literal like dead face look. It is like 11 o'clock at night on a Sunday and I've been really busy today and tomorrow I have to wake up at 6 a.m. because um, for the next like month and a half I'm going to be doing two summer courses in like the span of a month, of a half, month and a half which is supposed to take like what like five months during a semester I'm taking it in a month and a half so I have to go to class every single day for two hours <laughs> that's just one class and then I have to go do my own time for an online class and they're both the math classes so like I love that for myself the reason why I'm doing these classes is because I really want to get into a school that I think will be a really 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 good fit for me in the spring and they will only accept me if I take these two courses and I have to take them during the summer to be able to be accepted into the spring and y'all know I've had a really 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 hard time with college and finding a place for me and praying crossing my fingers that um, this works out but I'm gonna have to get up at 6 a.m. every day um, go to class for two hours Monday through Thursday and then right after class I go to work and take care of two five-year-old kids for a living for five hours six hours a day and then come home go to the gym and uh, <laughs> do homework basically teach myself lessons for this online course anyway I'm babbling let's just get on to this video so as I was saying I'm going to be talking about my reading rush TBR if you don't know what the reading rush is it used to be called the book tubeathon I believe Ariel Bassett who's the host changed it because she wanted it to like include everybody not just people on booktube but the whole book internet community you know what i mean and it's taking place from july 22nd to the 28th which is right in the middle of my course load i don't know how much i'm going to get done reading during this week but i'm gonna try i'm gonna have a tbr i'm gonna try as hard as i can but also do well in my class <laughs> so there are seven prompts i want to try and get to seven books so I can complete that challenge on the Reading Rush um, website, whatever. If you have an account, mine's linked down below. Be my friend, please. Anyways, let's get started. Prompt number one is read a book with purple on the cover. For this one, I'm going with Because You Love to Hate Me by an anthology of authors. I thought it would be really fun to read a story a day during this readathon, or I don't know if there's there's probably more than seven stories, so maybe a couple stories a day. But I think that'd be really good idea and it's purple on the cover there's purple on the cover if you didn't know this is like an anthology full of like really popular authors who have collaborated with um booktubers who have given them prompts i believe on villains and there are stories about villains so really exciting really want to read this prompt number two is to read a book in the same spot the entire time now this could work for a bunch of the books i have in my tbr i'm going to be reading a story from Grimm's Fairy Tales, I will get to that later. It's the last prompt. I'll talk about that. But um, I also have Monstrous Volume 1. This is a graphic novel. Don't know anything other than that, but really short graphic novel. I've heard nothing but good things. But then I also got from the library every single saga volume, except for three. Somehow I forgot to add Volume 3 in this list. Um, but that's on hold for me in the library. I will pick it up in a couple days. But I could read all these saga books, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven here alone, you know? So I could just read these because I've already read the first book. So, oh, adding number three, there'd be eight books. So I'd be going above and beyond, really. <laughs> I could read one of these in the same spot. Like, I think the possibilities are endless here, you know what I mean? I'd probably read it in my bed because my ideal spot sitting outside in my porch is not probably going to happen because it's in, like, the high 90s here in Houston so I want nothing more than to read outside but I can't sit out there for more than five minutes or I'll be sweating my butt off or the mosquitoes will be attacking me <laughs> so probably be reading it in my bed prompt number three is read a book you meant to read last year because you love to hate me this has been on my TBR since it came out which was I believe like two years ago maybe 2018 2017 I don't know it's been on my TBR for a while so this fits that challenge prompt number four is read an author's first book for this one I have this is not a love scene by SC Miguel this is a YA story about a girl 
who is in a wheelchair who has uh, muscular dystrophy and um, she is making a movie she falls for like the really buff hot star of the movie that she's making the short film that she's making but she thinks that he would never like her because she's a girl in a wheelchair when in actuality he might start having feelings for her and something might be going on there um so this seems so cute and it i think is just like 300 pages so i think that's perfect in this situation for this readathon i'm so excited to read it it looks so so good prompt number five is read a book with a non-human main character that goes for monstrous i can do that i don't believe she's a human i don't know um and then we could do any of the saga books because that's like a sci-fi fantasy love story two different species that are not humans that fall in love prompt number six is read a book with five or more words in the title both these books could fill those prompts we have because you love to hate me and this is not a love scene these two can fit the bill for that one for sure and to the last prompt prompt number seven is to read a book and watch the movie adaptation for it now originally before i found out that i would have school during this time i was gonna read to all the boys i loved before but that's not gonna happen because that's a big book compared to all the other books I have and I have a lot of math to do in the next month and during that week so I can't do that. So I decided to pick a really 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 short story and that is a story from Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. I have yet to open this sucker up yet and I believe I got it last Christmas and it's just gorgeous like so pretty. And so I'm gonna read a story from here. I believe there's, I can either choose like Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Rapunzel, Snow White, the Seven Dwarves. I feel like I could also do like, I could pick like Rumpelstiltskin I think is in here and I could watch an episode of Once Upon a Time. I could maybe do that. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, the possibilities are endless for this book. And I believe each story is only like maybe 10 pages or less. So big plus for me there. So those are all of the seven prompts. I am probably going to be changing up my TBR while the week goes along because I like to read an ebook and listen to an audiobook during the week. I like to read three different things at once and I don't know what audiobook I'm gonna pick. I don't know what audiobook will be in from the library by then. I don't know what ebook I want to pick up yet. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I'm keeping it very loose right now because I don't want to stress myself out with this TBR, if you know what I mean. I already have a lot on my plate. But hopefully I can also do a reading vlog. It may be really sporadic or really short because I might not have a lot of filming time because I'll be in class or doing homework or taking care of kids. So we'll see. But anyways, if you are participating in the reading rush, please let me know. I would love to know. Like, tell me if you made a TBR too, because I want to go see them for sure. If you've read any of these books, or if you plan to, please let me know down in the comments so I can start up a conversation with you about them. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all soon with a new video. Bye! <laughs>